Hello, anyone who's watching. <laughs> I'm gonna do another practice vlog um, since I have some time today. Um, it's not really a performance, it's more like my brain working on my songs. <laughs> section two. is weird for me. Um, It's a quarter. 
hold up. Sonatina. Okay. I think I need to take my shoes off. <laughs> I don't know why, but I think I practice piano better when I'm barefoot. Okay. Measure 21.
who's watching, hey May Nag, hey Kelly. You see, I'm practicing. Be proud of me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> not sharp. moving my left hand because it has the same E on the bottom, but I just, I don't know, habits? I don't know. That's not good. That's not a good habit. It's better. It's getting there. Little by little. <laughs> Overall now, just think some lighter tones. Oh yeah, I can be quite heavy. <laughs> but happy to see your progress. Yes, yes. I'm trying to get it in. This is my way of being accountable. <laughs> yes. Um, I tend to be a little bit on the heavier side, so I need to make it a little bit lighter. Um, I guess I could try that. I haven't even played through the beginning yet. I was just working on measures 21, 22, and then the transition on 33, um, and then over here at 82 to the end. But I'll, I'll see if I can get it lighter. I don't know, we'll give it a try. <laughs> All right, um, okay. Thank you. 
time all the way through that I went and I didn't have any like self-doubt or anything like that um so that's a good thing I still have some shakiness there at uh, surprisingly at measure 84 to about 93 that section I'm a little bit shaky still so I'll keep working <laughs> but that's good for today okay <laughs> little mid-practice break. My kids made this for me to support my mom. <laughs> so if you want to support me, join Patreon. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's try the Tocatina next, Kavalevsky. This one is fun and I was working specifically on like the flat section. Um, I have it very slowly. Um, and I'm trying to maintain my tempo and my dynamics. That's really hard on this one. So, um, let me see how it goes. I don't know. shake up still in the flats but I feel like the practice that I did prior helped because I did that super slow practice between measures 19 and 34 so if you're working on the Kabalevsky Takatina those are the measures where you should practice like much much more slowly so let me try it again I still find a problem bringing out the left hand and maintaining the slurs so that's something I, I need to work on as well. I will try it once more. Um, yes, okay.
it's getting better. Um, I have a problem with rushing, so I need to write here. Yes, uh, 35, I'm, in, I'm going to write don't rush. Yes. hands apart it's a lot easier to hear the melody again um, when I was getting this one assigned Kelly mentioned something about keeping the right hand super short almost like um, barely registering and just letting the left hand melody sing which is actually pretty um, appropriate because at the beginning of the piece um, next to the piano at the beginning it says cantando and cantando is singing so imagine like a tenor or you know singing this piece the melody of the piece so obviously you don't want your um parallel you know first inversions to get in the way <laughs> Maintaining that, um, hi, maintaining that, um, <laughs> that beat in my head. So you see me bobbing my head while I do that right hand because the right hand comes on the upbeat every single time. I don't think there's one downbeat, um, that the right hand plays until we get to the third to the last measure. <gasps> and that's what happens there. Um, I'm going to try hands together again maybe slightly slower, um, just because I want to get better at the accuracy of that flat section. So let's try it. First, let me wave at you. Hey, hi. I'm just practicing. I'm working on the Kabalevsky Takatina. Um, it's fun. Parallel first inversions, left hand singing melody. Uh, let's see how it goes this time.
The slurs here can be deceiving. Bum. But these are not staccato, they're regular quarter notes. I think I'm doing them too short. This one's staccato. At 47, that's a staccato, and 48, and 49. But the four prior are not. What do you know? Thank you for saying I'm sounding good. I'm just practicing. Um, I use this account for my uh, practice accountability. I'm trying to get more comfortable being playing just and making mistakes in front of the camera. Um, so thanks for watching and listening and the words of encouragement. <laughs> okay, I'll play it once more, um, but I think I'm gonna start at the flat section. Yeah, so maybe a measure 19. Or no. Wait. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, measure 14. Because it's piano, the theme is presented for the second time, and then it crescendos into the flat section at forte. And I have, sometimes I feel like I'm playing too loud, <laughs> but then I realize I could probably play louder. I just need to make sure I do that crescendo accurately. So let's try that. Usually it takes me a few times, it's like a kickstarter. No. <laughs> no! And then here comes the train wrecks, okay. that happens okay you'll be practicing something and you've worked like days on a section and then you try to like start it at a weird place <laughs> and then um, <laughs> you have a train wreck does that happen to you <laughs> I'm sure it happens to you guys when you practice too um, and then, I don't know, I, I get like anxious about those sections and I'm like, maybe I just shouldn't go in there. Uh, you get like a little nervous thinking like, am I undoing all the practice that I did before on that section? Um, I'm kind of getting that feeling now. <laughs> it happens all the time for you. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that. It's like our brains, it's like, don't fix what's not broken, right? <laughs> um, so, I don't know. Should I try it again? I don't know if I want to start right there at that measure because I've never started at measure 14 before. Um, I'm like shaking. I shouldn't be shaking. Let me see if I can start. Um, oh gosh, where will I start? That? It's either starting from the beginning or measure 14. Yeah, okay. Let me, let me just try it from 14 again. If it's like horrible, then... <laughs> then I don't want to like prove my theory right <laughs> that you can undo good things. I'll just stop and then I'll move on to something else, right? Because that's what we do. <laughs> you like close and you're like, nope, not today. <laughs> okay, let me try this again. <sighs> okay. I know this section. I don't know why I'm like getting like this. Okay. <laughs> to still work on this one. I'm obviously not as confident on it as 
um, I thought I was. So I will work a little bit more on this one. Um, again, it's like sometimes, sometimes I'll be thinking, bring out the melody, bring out the melody in the left hand. And then other times I'll be like, you're playing too softly in the right hand. I don't know. It's a balance, I suppose. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to put that one away because I don't want to <laughs> mess up something. All right, let's try the Siciliano by Schumann. Um, all right. Now, this one I always have a problem at line three, but I'm going to try my best to get through it. Obviously the 2-4 section is a problem.
that part is it's just messy I'm making silly mistakes was really 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 helpful I don't know how many times I played it maybe 12 or 14 times but that really helped and then I started increasing the tempo increasing the speed in that loop and that really gave me a lot of confidence because I was getting it right I was doing the slurring correctly the accenting correctly and I had the correct notes finally in the left hand so I wasn't missing my B anymore. So yeah, like repetitive practice in a specific section, right? Slow, separated in sections, right? I talk about the three S's all the time. That helped me. What do you know? And then as I gradually increased the tempo, my confidence was getting higher. It, it works, guys. Guys and gals and friends. Okay, so that one's finished too. Finally, I... I like closing with my favorite song of the moment, um, which is the Through the Grey Mists with Faulkner. Right? Let's, 
I want to work on a specific section now. So I worked on that first page before. Let's work on measure 18 to 32. Oops, what's that? I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> 